for you personally, when does the off season start as far as getting those workouts in, staying loose, staying ready for the upcoming season? That started a long time ago. That starts before the NFL even says it starts. I mean, that starts the day after the next uh, day after the Super Bowl is when that starts for us. I and mean, as a veteran, you know how to handle the off season. You know how to uh, go about your day to day. You know when to kick, when to lift, when to relax, when to stretch, when to get the recovery. Um, I was fortunate enough to learn from guys like Phil Dawson and Robbie Gold, who have been around for centuries. Um, it seems like um, so I, I learned how to do it at a, a really young in my career. Um, and I just keep building on it every year. And I feel like I get stronger and better and more consistent every single year. Um, so, I mean, that honestly starts the day the last game ends. I mean, you already start preparing for the next year. You start putting the game plan together before the season even ends of what you liked, what you didn't like from the year before. So, I mean, you, you really put it all together way beforehand and then you just execute your plan. Um, one of the best sayings that Keith, our special teams coach say, says is have a plan and work your plan. That's literally like, that's all it is. Have a plan, work your plan. And when you have a plan and work your plan, can't go wrong. I believe when you were drafted, you were the only punter drafted that year, right? Yeah, it was me, me, one punter and one long snapper, me and Joe Cardona with the uh, Patriots, where we were picked, actually back-to-back picks. I was pick 165 and he was 166. Is the Bucks Boat Show Parade the greatest Super Bowl celebration in history? Absolutely. Most epic thing I've ever been a part of in my entire life. Winning the Super Bowl was great. The after party was great, but that parade was something else. Was it as wild in person as it seemed on, on TV between, uh, you know, the drinks flowing, everybody's having a good time, as y'all should, uh, but also the uh, throwing of the Super Bowl trophy across the boat? Yeah, um, it was probably more wild in person than it was on <laughs> TV, just because the TV can't capture every moment. But uh, yeah, it was wild. Definitely wild. What's your most awkward football moment? Awkward football moment. Had to be in high school um, my junior year. Um, the LSU scout was in this. There was actually a few scouts in the stands. And opening kickoff, I slipped and hit the kickoff two yards. And the team, the other opposing team was smart enough to pick it up and run it like 20 yards towards their end zone. And um, the LSU scout got up and walked out the stadium. Oof, that's... Yeah, that, that 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 that's pretty rough. Is, is there an awkward moment in the NFL, or have you been pretty clear for the most? Part? Uh, my worst, uh, I'd say my most awkward moment in the NFL was actually with San Fran, and I um, my my rookie year, I was filling the shoes of a longtime Pro Bowler Andy Lee, and so it was some tough shoes to follow. And um, I think it was my probably my third or fourth game. I was at home and I hit a like a seventeen yard punt out of bounds, completely whiffed it and got booed to the sideline. Um, and it was probably the worst feeling I've ever felt in my NFL career. Now, I'd imagine as a pro athlete, especially on a Super Bowl champion, I mean, there's always you know a lot of pressure on you. Uh, how do you handle that adversity? Uh, yeah, you, it's what you call kicking is a streak of one. Uh, you handle one kick at a time. Uh, my next kick, I actually went out there and hit like a 65-yard bomb. So I, I totally redeemed myself. But um, – it's the streak of one. So you just got to look at it one kick at a time, no matter what happens, clear your mind, clear your thoughts, go get the next one. Same thing with every other player, honestly, one play at a time, one snap at a time. Um, so, yeah. What's the biggest misconception about being a punter? They were not athletes. People don't realize to be, to punt. I was just talking about this with someone earlier too. This is fantastic. <laughs> to punt and to be a punter, usually the holder for field goal kicking also. So to punt, you probably have the most catches on the team than anyone else. So you can take Mike Evans, you can take Chris Godwin, you can take A.B., Scotty Miller, and take all their catches, and then you look at every single time I call a football, and I probably have the most catches on the team. 